Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I know I made a lot of different videos here. Uh, I posted them the other day. Uh, by the way, I received several other emails that someone actually, there was nine emails, one right after the other where someone was trying to gain access to my Yahoo email account send me codes which they can't get those codes but nine times and <clears throat> the thing is that gives me is each time they sent me the uh, IP address and they, uh, it was also a Safari iOS device which is you know an um, Apple device when I checked the IP address came to uh, a couple places one in Texas and one in Louisiana So that goes to prove, I got the proof that people in other parts of the United States are trying to hack my uh, email, trying to hack my Twitter. So it's not just the people that I think it's doing it, but yet. There's this one person that uh, I've been dealing with here for a long time now. Made another video and posted it to um, that Bisexual Ministries Incorporated channel. Titled his uh, video that he's a victim. A victim of what? Is what I would like to know. A victim of what? You're constantly asking me to show my social security work history. The only thing I can get from the social security, or actually from um, Medicare, is all the years that I worked and how much I paid in. That is the only documentation I can get from social security. As far as any other documentation, hang on a second here. I gotta reach down here to get it. Like I said, I showed the other day the documentation of uh, where I was wrongfully fired and received my unemployment compensation. All my pay stubs from every place I worked at from uh, 1988, 89, all the way through to 2010 is right here. Yeah, there's some breaks in my employment, my employment history because when you get laid off, not fired, laid off, then I have to go around and put applications in before I get hired somewhere else again. And that takes time. You just don't get into a job right away. But evidently, he's never been laid off or had to go and, and put an application for another job. And I guess, according to him, nobody else, nobody else in this world ever had been laid off and, and took him time to find another job. You just go from one job to another job, to, you know, 
or you keep that job, according to him, you keep that job forever because they like you so much. Actually, I probably did more than that to keep his job. You know, kiss some other people's, you know, whats. And the fact that Renee's mother went to college after Renee started college and earned a degree and then worked in the uh, main office. They on on Fox 8 here this morning. They got a horse, a uh, police horse that uh, did some line dancing on a video, and they're going to talk about it here in a little bit. So, I want to finish my uh, video here, and so we can watch this. Renee, you know, sitting here, got up here this morning. See, Renee is up when I'm doing a lot of my videos. Where is Renee's mother when, when this person is doing his videos? Well, he did this video in the garage without his shirt on, showing his cross tattoo on his uh, chest. So I don't need a cross because I bear my cross every day. I bear my cross because of all the hatred that you people dish out towards me in my emails on, on Twitter on, on Facebook on, on my YouTube channel all the hatred you Cause me to bear my cross every day. And that's what Jesus said. Bear your cross daily. He didn't say wear your cross daily. He said bear your cross daily. Je uh, je not Jesus, but God in the beginning. In the beginning. In Genesis. 28, oh, excuse me, 26. Then God said, let us, which he was talking to Jesus, his son, and the Holy Spirit, make man in our image, according to our likeness. You see, that is why Jesus and God are one and the same, because of the fact that yeah, God is light, but yet He is like us. He, he is He is light and and power and 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 um, it's just hard to describe God because God is above uh, de describing. But He made us in His and His Son's image. Then goes on and, and he says here So God created let me get this uh, God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. Then God blessed them and God said to them be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over every living thing that move, moves on the earth. Then down here in uh, Genesis 2, God says, And the Lord... God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper compatible to him. That is, 
course, woman. A woman is compatible. A woman is the only thing that is compatible to man. Not man and man. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, Jesus, you know, I believe in Jesus. I don't believe in the Bible. I only believe in Jesus because Jesus is love and God is love. God uh, loves everyone. He even loves a sinner. He loves our sins and, and, and he, he loves us when we're gay and he loves, I mean, come on. He loves you, but he hates what you are doing. And all throughout the God's word, it says he hates what you do. Jesus. See, a lot of people says, well, Jesus was gay. Well, if he was gay, then why did he say that marriage is between a man and a woman? In uh, Matthew... 19 Jesus says and he answered and said to them have you not read that he who made them in the beginning made them male and female and he said for this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no man separate. A man and his wisdom called the, 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 the Supreme Court now is trying to separate what God has joined together. See, something I would like to say too is that in Luke 17 excuse me, Luke 18 Luke, Luke 18 Luke 18 uh, here at uh, verse, uh, well, starting with verse uh, uh, 6. Then the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said. Yes, there are unjust judges out there. And shall God not avenge his own elect? which elect means chosen, who cry out day and night to him, through he bear long with them. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he readily find faith on the earth and one more place here oh, as soon as I find it I got got marked here uh, where do I got marked excuse me I got, got my bookmark here okay here we go all right moved on me or what here because actually I might have another place here too unless that was another bookmark for something else
Hmm. I guess where I wanted to be. Trying to find where I wanted to be at here. I think it was, uh, Well, anyhow, I uh, was trying to find, I had it marked here somewhere. I'm looking here for it again. I had it marked here. Oh, Lord help me. Find what I was wanting to say. I moved my Bible around here a few times and I lost where I was trying, wanting to actually say. I had it uh, marked here. And Oh, here it is. Okay. In First uh, Timothy 4. Sorry about that. Uh, in First Timothy 4. It says, Now the Spirit expressly says, expressly says, excuse me, expressly says, that in latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons speaking lies in hypocrisy having their own conscience seared with a hot iron in the last days there will be people departing from the faith i've been reading certain stories here on the internet where more and more people are departing from the faith in God and Jesus and, and they're running more towards all this other stuff that's out there that where they believe uh, you can basically go to heaven on your own merit or go to heaven to some other way And you've heard it said that Jesus will come like a thief in the night. Why will he come like a thief in the night? Why will he come as a thief in the night? And for who will he come as a thief in the night? I need to move something here. So it's not in my way. My arm's hitting it. It is for the dead church because the dead church is asleep and when a thief comes they come at night to steal from you and and Jesus says here in uh, Revelations 3 and he's speaking to the dead church. I will come upon you as a thief in, and you will not know what hour I will come upon you. He who overcomes shall be clothed in white garments and I will not blot his name from the book of life but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. 
the, it, he's talking here about the uh, <clears throat> rapture or the catching away he will come like a thief in the night for the dead church and catch away the ones who overcome and who does he says in Matthew 24 and again I read uh, also in Luke 18 who is he coming for the chosen the elect not 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 the just the Jewish people not the church entire church sorry to burst all your Christians bubbles but unless you're born again and your name's written down in the Lamb's Book of Life you're going to know whether or not then that time comes that you are the elect actually when you are the elect you can feel it in your heart of hearts I want to show you something else too that this is a book that I of course purchased from a Christian bookstore years ago after I became ordained kind of hard to see it, it says Christian Minister's Manual, but you can see it a little bit better here on in the inside uh, information. And it has everything to do with wedding ceremonies and funerals and um, Christian counseling and Ordentation and installation of Bible school teachers and officers. Ordentation. What does it really mean to be ordained? See. Has about orders of services. Ordentation of a minister. Ordentation of a minister. And it says, whoops. Lost my page here because I'm trying to hold on to the camera. And uh, read this too. Through granting ordentation or ordination, some people say. To the church, to, to the Christian ministry, a local church publicly commands the ord, ordain to the church at large. The ordination is the church's decoration that one has earned their confidence and enjoys their endorsement as a minister. Of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Of course, I think this is where that guy was getting all his information. But again, as I had said in another previous video, I guess Paul did wrong when he ordained or appointed Timothy by laying on his hands on Timothy. That's all that's required. God, I mean, Jesus said, Jesus said, when two or more are gathered in my name, I am there with them. That's all that's required. Two, three, four. And Jesus is there. And Jesus is the one that gives us the authority. Today, everybody wants to be praised by somebody else. And that's, that is what, that is what it's all about. You know, it's not the church that ordains, it's God that ordains 
God ordained me through another minister that was a, a, a minister of the Universal Life Church. Long before the existence of home computers and long before the Universal Life Church ever made a website and put it on the internet. And if you want to go and believe what the Universal Life Church Monastery and Universal Life Church uh, Seminary has to say, you know, go show what kind of fools you really are. Just because they broke away from the original Universal Life Church that was created by the late Reverend Hensley, Just because they broke away and created their own universal life church and then they made it out to be really a joke because now you're all buying into what they're saying goes to show the time and the age that we are in today is the last days that Jesus said well, I find true faith on the earth when I come. There are only a few chosen, a few elect. Many are called, few are chosen. There's been so much going on too. Dr. Brown was a... Uh, attacked verbally attacked and end up in 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 the police station in uh, Jerusalem uh, yesterday I guess it was because he's was preaching Jesus Christ on the streets but he wasn't preaching he's was interviewing and talking to people that's all he was doing and sharing his faith I guess you're not allowed to share Jesus Christ in Jerusalem. But yet, a lot of people keep preaching that you're accepted in Jerusalem as a Christian. Really? Well, anyhow, I've said enough as it is. Almost uh, 30 minutes of me... Uh, preaching here and talking about the God's Word, the truth of God's Word. I, I, I know I preach mostly to the choir, but yet I also preach to those who don't like me and hate me and want me off the internet altogether. But sorry for your luck. And let's someone comes to my door with a legal court order to stop me from preaching of course it would be illegal no judge in his right mind will order somebody to stop preaching unless you lie to that judge and say I'm threatening you which I'm not Of course, then you're, you're going to take this video and you're going to chop it up and make it say what you want to say. But the real video is still on my computer and saved somewhere else off my computer that you cannot get into. So go ahead. Be my guest. Chop it up. Do whatever you think you have the right to do, which you don't. God bless you. Have a blessed day.